Setting up Tor is a good start to keeping yourself secure online, but Tor only protects us to a certain extent. Sure, the Tor circuit will help keep us anonymous from any website that we're visiting, but our internet provider will still know that we're connecting to the Tor network. And because Tor is often inaccurately associated with illegal activity, this leaves room for anyone with access to your ISP's logs to accuse you of illegal activity, regardless of whether you have or have not done anything bad. And of course, if Tor is illegal in your country, and your ISP knows that you are connecting to Tor, you have a bit of a problem. But that's where a VPN comes in, by hiding our Tor connection from our ISP, which helps us to remain anonymous. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to set up a VPN so that we can use Tor securely without the prying eyes of our internet service provider. When choosing the VPN to use with Tor, it's important to find a service that we can trust. The main criteria for this is by finding a service that does not record any logs of any internet activity at all. Unfortunately, most VPN services that take security as seriously as we want them to are paid services, meaning that you will have to subscribe to whichever VPN service you prefer. But the investment may be well worth it for you, as you can use the VPN for bypassing region locks on certain websites, hiding torrenting from your ISP, and of course, using the Tor network anonymously. So, my favorite VPN service at the moment is ProtonVPN, which I'll be using for this video, but I've also heard great things about TorGuard, IPVanish, Private Internet Access, and a whole bunch of others, which I'll link to in the description of this video, so that you can go ahead and do some research, compare prices, and choose whichever one appeals to you the most. Now, all of these services claim to have zero internet traffic logs, they allow you to connect multiple devices to the VPN at the same time, and they all provide a large number of servers that you can connect to around the world. Once you've chosen the VPN service that you like and you've subscribed to it, go ahead and download the app for that VPN and run it. Now, like I said, I'm using Proton VPN, and so I've got that running here. And as you can see on the left hand sidebar, there's a list of countries with different servers that I can choose to connect to. Now, no matter which VPN you've subscribed to, whichever app you've got running, you'll probably have a similar list of countries that you can choose to connect to for your VPN service as well. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to some random one, for example, Belgium. And once this is connected, I want to double check that I am actually connected to the VPN service. So if I head on over to Firefox and just search for my IP, you should see that the IP address that comes up will be different from your actual IP address. Now, if this is the case, you are successfully connected to the VPN, and now we're ready to start Tor. Now, for your security, you should make absolutely sure that your computer has connected to the VPN server before you start up the Tor browser. If you don't do this, and you start up the Tor browser before your VPN has fully connected, your ISP might still be able to see that you've connected to the Tor network, which defeats the whole purpose of setting up this VPN in the first place. So once your VPN has successfully established a connection, go ahead and start up the Tor browser. Once the Tor browser starts up, you're good to go. You are now connected to the Tor network without your ISP knowing, and you're free to browse the dark web or use Tor as you please. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out deepweb.pw for more posts, tips, and techniques for staying secure online.